नमस्ते प्रकाश हियर हु डजेंट वॉन्ट टू बी सक्सेसफुल इन लाइफ एवरी ह्यूमन बींग विद रिच और पुअर और वॉट एवर सोशल स्टेटस यू मे बी इन वुड लाइक डेमसेल टू बी कंसिडर्ड एज सक्सेसफुल इन वन वे और अनदर वेल देर आर मैनी डेफिनेशन फॉर सक्सेस there is surely one common factor which is essential for a person to be successful what differentiates a more successful person from a less successful person is the additional skill sets that they seem to possess in moving towards higher levels of success so what is in fact a skill set which differentiates a champion from an also ran when a sprinter does a 100 meter dash in 9.58 as compared to somebody else who is running at 9.60 or 62 or whatever the differentiator obviously is what we would call as the skill set skill set very simply put can be defined as uh, knowledge in action knowledge by itself is of no consequence let's say for example if you don't know swimming and that i share the knowledge of swimming in the next uh, 30 days through some kind of communication whatsapp email showing you videos etc and at the end of 30 days i put you in a deep uh, pool would you be able to swim i have given you enough knowledge but you will not be able to swim because you have not put that knowledge into action putting knowledge into action is one of the most essential aspects of being more successful than anyone else of course there are a few other factors also involved like goal alignment etc but let's look at uh, this knowledge in action aspect in material life or in spiritual life once the goal is clear once you know what is the knowledge that is essential for you to reach those goals which will define you to be successful higher the goal deeper the goal better the goal the more successful you are considered to be obviously the skill sets essential for each of that would keep getting harder and harder and harder knowledge is available all around you just search the net today including rocket science which is considered to be difficult it's possible for anyone to do literally anything using the knowledge that's available on the internet literally free but how would you really convert knowledge into success you need to put it into practice and for this first you have to overcome the barriers of knowledge itself for you to acquire knowledge first of all you need to suspend prejudice i already know is one of the biggest blocks which stops people from gaining knowledge that's why they say to gain knowledge many times you have to unlearn and then relearn it's not easy giving up a baggage and then to learn all over again if you look at even a practice like meditation where the gurus download you with so much of knowledge day in and day out the amount of knowledge which in their view is essential for you to reach the highest level but to reach the highest level there are several rungs in the ladder that you need to climb and to climb through each of the ladder you have to be very 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 clear what is your long term goal what is your short term goal what is your immediate goal let's say you are in the lowest rung of the ladder in spirituality while your long term goal could be the absolute highest of emergence the lowest goal or the immediate goal could be for you to move from the first rung to the second rung of the ladder which means the knowledge that is available in the scriptures in the talks in the videos by the gurus and all those who have understood the process of reaching the goal may be needed for you 
but not immediately. What you might need is only for you to see through and find out what will take you from point 1 to point 2 and focus on that knowledge so much that you master it. And then once you've mastered that knowledge, put it into practice. Any amount of knowledge, it's like cooking. I can read hundreds and hundreds of recipe books. Would I, would I be able to become a good cook by just reading the books? I can take classes, I can tell people verbally how to cook, but I will never be able to cook myself. And the person who can't cook himself will never be able to really convince the other person that cooking is easy or cooking is good. The first practical question that is posed to him will be the biggest stumbling block for the teacher himself. Let's go back to this point. Once you have mastered that knowledge, overcoming all the barriers that stop one from learning, after that, the biggest challenge is in putting them into practice. That comes by what I say as knowledge in action. Once you keep putting that into action, the knowledge now becomes an experience. Theoretical knowledge is of no use unless you have experienced that knowledge. Now you have become an expert. Not only can you say that a mango is sweet or sour or whatever, you already know the taste because you have experienced by tasting the mango. And putting that knowledge into action is the way in which you develop that experience or taste. Once you have mastered that, then you look at the immediate next rung of the ladder. One size fits all doesn't work in any field, whether it's material field or spiritual field or any other field. You need to be very clear what is your long-term goal, your mid-term goal, your short-term goal, and then find out which knowledge is essential. Many times, it is in your ability to say which knowledge is not essential, which is more important than knowing what knowledge is essential at all. Once that is done, and by putting them into repetitive action, you get a mastery over that aspect where you want to be successful. That way you keep moving up the ladder. That's why one gentleman very beautifully explain knowing and not doing is as good as not doing knowing at all knowing and not doing is as good as not knowing at all if you really want to progress materially or spiritually the first key is to know what are the skill sets you need align to the goals find out what is the knowledge that will take you towards that goal and then put them into repetitive action. The moment you do that, you master that aspect on which you want to be successful. And then you redefine success by redefining your goal to a higher level, a deeper level. And then you keep progressing. I wish you the very best. I hope you have really got the clarity on the difference between what is knowledge and what is knowledge in action, which will take you towards the goal, whether in material or spiritual progress that you are looking at. Wish you the very best. Thank you.